At this time, I would like to call on Jaime Garcia to, to speak uh, from the NDP on just a little bit more about what this guy that we're uh, throwing this event here has been doing wrong. Thank you. My name is Jaime Garcia. I was a former candidate for uh, the Saskatchewan NDP this past election. And uh, I come on behalf of my party to give greetings and for, to thank you for all your efforts. I would just like to start by acknowledging that we're on Treaty 4 land and we're all treaty people and, and you know, I, I, I we thank our Canadian Aboriginal people for sharing their land with us and so I would uh, just uh, like to pay homage to that fact. And um, now, uh, as we all know, uh, Canada is, is this beautiful country. I remember as a young boy coming to Canada and thinking, wow, you know, the generosity of, of people and uh, is, is just am amazing. But what struck me the most was the courage of people to stand up on issues and speak on behalf of the, 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 the oppressed, the poor, and the people who couldn't have a voice. And we need to continue that, uh, that tradition. And right now, um, we're not. You know, in one fell swoop, we had the current uh, federal government and the provincial government uh, with the passing of Bill C-38 really changed the law in the entire land and to an unrecognizable state and we need to stand up against that. We need to continue to, to voice our opinions against such an oppressive and undemocratic uh, way of governing this country. Shame! Shame! Canada is a place where we were really looked upon as having been the brokers of peace and right now we're losing that. We're being the obstructionists of peace and we really need to get back to that. So my message really is, is about uh, standing out and standing up and really coalescing and uniting around. We have some really important events coming to place this year which are municipal elections and we really need to support progressive candidates that will take down to the path of being a progressive society again. This year this year is not only important because we have municipal elections taking place here in Regina and some other places in Saskatchewan, but it's also the you know the Mayan call it the, the year of renewal when Quetzalcoatl returns. But it's also the year where we celebrate 50 years of Medicare. It's also the year where we celebrate the year of international cooperatives around the world. And it's also the year where we're celebrating the 30th anniversary of their Charter of Rights and Freedom. And we really need to stand up and really celebrate these things because the governments, we didn't hear a peep from them. It was from you folks standing up and speaking to, to everybody that that's what we heard about it. And we really need to stand up. So my message to you is that not to give in into the politics and divisiveness that see some of our own warring against each other. We really give into the politics of unity and the new politics where we can all come together around issues to stand up for the oppressed, to stand up for the working class and take on these guys because these guys, if they're, they're standing on behalf of their corporate friends, they're standing on behalf of their corporate donors and we need to stand on behalf of the people. We need to take the mandate on behalf of the people and really take the issues that matter to you that make Canada and Saskatchewan again a just society. In essence, the simplest form, we need to stand up for us. We need to put people first. Happy Canada Day and solidarity, my friends.